Hi everyone, it's Sierra. In today's video, we are going to ask the cards what blessings are coming to your life soon. I have group one over here with the forgiveness card and the rose quartz bracelet. Group number two, the answer the call card. What is your soul calling you to do with the amethyst bracelet? Lastly, group number three with the no card. Wait, postpone, pause, say no and the labradorite bracelet what i'm going to do for each group whilst i'm reading the message for you all i will be wearing each of these bracelets that's going to help me better connect to your energy and whatever the message is for you all take your time choosing the piles meditate on the cards if you need to Hi group one, we have the two of cups, the page of swords, the moon, the boundaries card, where do you need to establish better boundaries, the spider spirit, make your dreams real, number 56, and the buffalo spirit, number 10, the abundant universe will provide. The blessings that are coming soon, let's see. With the Two of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Moon card. Resolved conflict with a loved one. This may be a close friend, a family member. I'm getting more of a romantic sense here. Well, most likely this is a romantic partner. And being able to communicate and fixing issues in a mature way. Also with the Two of Cups coming together in peace. With the Boundaries card down here, let's see. You two setting up boundaries with each other, discussing what is and isn't okay. Now with the Spider, make your dreams real. I'm getting a sense of spiders, and you can even see it in the picture, but spiders, they form webs, they weave webs, and I'm getting a sense of you two weaving a web together. This is not weaving a web, but you two rebuilding the relationship. There also may be, with the Buffalo Spirit as well, there may be magic or spells involved. Co-creating with spirit is also what's coming through. Also with the Buffalo, focusing on what is in your power and what you can do at this moment to help the situation. I have two other cards for you all, group number one. I have the finances card with the page of swords and the moon more so with the page of swords if you've been worried about finances I do see them improving with this card and with the spider spirit and the buffalo spirit you may even be getting money from an external source it may be from this person as well with the two of cups there from the person that we're talking about i'm going to place this down here i know it's covering the other cards it doesn't want to stand up there we go lastly the forgiveness card this card is you not hanging on to the past not hanging on to past resentment moving on Forgiving the other person, but also forgiving yourself. Let me place it right over here. I'm going to take one last look at the cards and see if I'm getting anything else for you all. To wrap this up, the blessings that you will all be receiving is resolved conflict with a loved one and improved finances and being able to move on emotionally. 
group one, that is all I am getting for you all. I hope this somehow helped. Thank you all very much for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye. Hi, group two. The question we're asking the cards is what blessings are coming soon? We're starting off with the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Wands, birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. The Scrap Beetle, number 52, magic works through you. And the Moth Spirit, surrender now, number 39. The Relationship Dynamics card. And lastly, the Answer the Call, What is Your Soul Calling You to Do card. Right away with the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Wands, there may be a fast, exciting opportunity that will bring good change. I'm pretty sure that this is work related for most of you. For others of you, this may be a hobby that turns into work. There's a sense here of you obtaining something that you presumed out of reach for you, but then getting it with the Wheel of Fortune, King of Wands, even with the birthing a new age is definitely what I'm seeing here. The Birthing a New Age card is also confirming the new opportunities that will be coming your way. What you've been wanting. There's also a sense of manifestation here for a lot of you. Whether you did it knowingly or unknowingly with the Scrap Beetle, magic works through you. And the Birthing a New Age card, definitely getting the manifestation vibes from that. With the Answer the Call card, this card is encouraging you to take the chance once it reveals itself to you. If it's necessary, ask your higher self. If you feel called to do so with the relationship dynamics card and the moth over here. Doing ultimately what is in your best interest, what will make you happy, not allowing outside influences to hold you back. There may be some people that try to discourage you because of their own insecurities because they think it's too good to be true. Now, please be smart about this. Don't fall into a scam. But from what I'm picking up with the cards, this is very highly unlikely that this is a scam or this is not going to turn out well. With the spread that I have here, it's very positive and very promising. With the Moss Spirit, there's also, I'm visualizing you working less. That could mean that your job, you enjoy your job so much that it doesn't really feel like work. That's definitely what I'm getting with that card. The Scrap Beetle is a very optimistic card especially ooh, in this reading. I'm also visualizing fire that's connecting to the King of Wands of your creativity being reignited. Ultimately, the blessings that are coming soon for you all, group number two, is a good, exciting opportunity, change that's going to come, perhaps even the opportunity to travel.
and your creativity your creative energy really flowing that is all i'm getting for you all group number two i hope that this somehow helped thank you all very much for watching and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye hi group three we have the five of swords reversed the five of cups reversed the high priestess the be true to you card the dolphin spirit number 20 this and that are true the transformation card things are changing at a cellular level deep healing and lastly we have the no card wait postpone pause say no the question that we're asking the card today is what blessings are coming to you soon with the with the five of swords reversed and the five of cups reversed you understanding and accepting something that happened being able to begin to move on not being held down by the past this may be pertaining to a past relationship an ex An overall sense that I'm getting with the spread here is you being able to hold your head high, having a peace of mind, being at peace with the positive and negative aspects of your past and your present duality. With the high priestess, you staying true to yourself and your beliefs having a strong self-esteem, not taking crap from anyone, removing yourself from the situation and not taking sides, not getting caught up in whatever mess is going on with the five of cups and the five of swords reversed. The be true to you card is you, again, standing up for your beliefs and approving yourself, accepting yourself for who you are, what you believe in, and what it is that you feel right to do. That's connecting a bit with the high priestess. That's what you're stepping into. The dolphin card. Acknowledging the present, excuse me, ex acknowledging the positive in the present moment, changing and accepting yourself and your past self without judgment, not being so harsh on yourself anymore for what happened in the past. Again, with the dolphin spirit, I'm getting a sense of duality, which was overall what I was getting with your tarot cards. The transformation card over here, a lot of inner work, letting go of past behaviors, past beliefs, even that don't serve you, and finding new ways to comfort yourself. New ways to confront yourself as well. How to deal with your emotions, how to deal with the crap that happens in life. How to deal with conflict, especially. With the no card, the message there is not being tempted into old negative patterns. Ultimately, group number three, the overall message here is you being able to accept yourself and be at peace with your past, not being held down by your past anymore and allowing yourself to change, allowing your beliefs to change to whatever aligns with you and moving on with your life, being at peace with the positive and negative aspects of the present and the past, like I said. Group number three, this is going to complete your reading. I hope that this somehow helped. 
Thank you all very much for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.